brother Teddy. Hi. Today we're going to open the Tokyo Treat Box. Hey, what's up, guys? CJR here today, and I'm joined by Andrew and Teddy. Teddy, can you say you say hi to everybody? Say hi. Say, say hi. My name's Teddy. I'm Andrew. We are back with another Tokyo Treat unboxing. As always, you can find the link for Tokyo Treat in the description below. This is my absolute favorite snack box. It's a uh, it's a mail order service. It's a uh, it's a box full of Japanese candy that you uh, receive at your door every month. And there's uh, I believe three different tiers. This is the premium box. So uh, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead. Um, I think we're gonna. How did we do this last time? Uh, we're going to go ahead and show you one thing at a time and then we'll give a taste test and our opinions on it. So, um, the kids are pretty excited. They've been bugging me to open this for the last two days. So, are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's open it. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Even Teddy knows the catchphrase now. All right, so when you first open the Tokyo Treat Boxes, you'll get this uh, really nice breakdown of, uh, of what's in the box. Always very helpful. So we'll know what we're having here. Don't touch it, Andrew. That's okay, he can look at it. Okay, so the thing with Tokyo Treat is you get a lot of uh, premium products, lots of uh, really good candies, and authentic Japanese, quirky uh, Japanese I'm treats. Candy. So uh, lots of stuff in here, as you can see. Let me make sure I show you guys. That's what it looks like when you first open it up. Very cool. Okay, so we gotta get through this a little quicker here. Uh, the first thing we are going to try is, where is it, you see it on there? That's it, that's right. Uh, Maiji's uh, Curry Curls, puffed, uh, puffed and crispy treats, uh, flavored with delicious spices. I love these uh, sort of um, deep fried corn snack kind of things, this is my favorite thing. As you get older, your Daddy. taste buds change. Mmm. Spicy one. Nope. It's like a cheesy. There you go, Ted. Okay. Uh, it's basically, it's like a curry flavored um, cheesy. But it's not overpowering. You just got a hint of curry. Yummy. You like it? Uh-huh. Very good. Um, kind of like a cheesy, light, deep fried corn snack. Excellent. I absolutely love that kind of stuff. Okay, so which one is this on here? Um, right here. Gummy Maru Takashi Grilled Egg. Interesting. Egg flavors. Okay. Daddy will try it first. Wow. It's, um... Um, so it's kind of a, it's kind of a chewy consistency, almost, almost like a, like a licorice, but not overly chewy. It doesn't get caught in your teeth. Um, and it has a really buttery, but sweet taste to it. It almost tastes, uh, more like buttered popcorn is how I would describe it. Uh, quite good, but, uh, very, very quirky, kind of unique. Uh, this case in point is, is, uh, the perfect example of a quirky Japanese candy. I actually really like that. I like this is a uh, Gilko's Pretz Mild Salad. I like that. It's got a little Yum. cartoon on the back there. Um, looks like little pretzel sticks. Okay. So these are supposed to be salad flavored. Not bad. They're great. Crazy. They're really good. Um, kind of like a mild seasoning to them. Kind of tastes like salad, I'd say. Something else. Oh man, there's so much stuff in here. Yeah. I like there's a that. lot of interesting stuff coming up. Okay, so we're gonna try the drink here. Drink. We'll have to look up what that is. Chilled candy, ginger, and honey. Delicious oh, drink mimics oh. the idea of drinking rain because of how connected to nature it is. 
Oh wow, you can really smell the ginger. I want to have some. I want to have some. And it tastes like ginger and honey. Oh, yes, I want to have some. Probably be really good for digestion. And your breath. Ginger tends to help with both of those. You like it? Spicy. Not spicy. <laughs> it's not spicy. You like it, Ted? Then I like it. Yeah. yeah. You like it? Yep. Yucky. No, it's not yucky. I said not yucky. I like it. Yeah, good. Daddy, I like it too. Okay, it looks like we've got some Pokemon themed rice crackers. Oh, and I just realized it's like a Pokeball. Um, the Japanese packaging is always another very cool thing. Eat them out of here. Here you go, Ted. Little Pikachus. Pikachu. So they're little Pikachus. So they're little Pikachu, again, puffed rice snacks. Oh, wow. wow kind of a honey flavoring to them. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, up next we've got Gyoko's Capri Kakote Strawberry and Vanilla. Oh, I want that. That's a mouthful. Alright, let's try these out. Yum! Oh, look at this elaborate packaging. Very cool packaging. Focus. I like it. A really. Oh, that smells good. Smell it? Don't bite it, wiener. Okay. Yep. Oh, look at that. It's chocolate. Strawberry chocolate. Hey, pip, pip. Just a wait. I want one. One for Teddo, and I'll try a strawberry one. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. Like it? Uh, really good. Vanilla and chocolate hearts. They almost look like eggs in this little carton. Excellent. I like Petite it. pack of Maiji bamboo shoots. Uh, so it looks like chocolate covered bamboo shoots. Oh wow. So you open it up and there's a, a little package of chocolate covered. They look like cookie bits. I doubt they're bamboo shoots. Go, Fantastic. I'm kind of hoping for something really strange in this box. Last time we had this uh, bean pate, sweet bean pate kind of thing that was really interesting. No idea what this is. Looks like some sort of tablets or... Do we have this on there? Yeah. Oh, right here. Assassination Classroom <laughs> Sugar Cola Flavored Chewy Candy. I don't think we got cola flavored. I'm gonna guess that this is lemon. And I'm gonna guess that the Assassination Classroom is probably some sort of anime. Wow, it's like a little wafer. Mama, I like is it, it smells like banana, is it banana? banana. Oh, you like it, Tab? Yeah. It's extremely sour. You like it, Andrew? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I don't like it, Mama. Oh, that's pretty sour. It gets sweeter after a minute. You like it, Teddy? No, it's good. <laughs> okay, you put it down there. Wow, that's one of the most sour things I've ever eaten. Um, it's a chewy wafer. Good. Extremely chewy, I'm still chewing it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. You don't like it? Um, pretty rubbery. Yucky, yucky. I'm not the bigger fan of this one. That's bad, yucky, yucky. Okay, don't worry, we're moving on to the next thing. A uh, cup full of chocolate dipped nugget it. sack. Oh, I eat. Oh, hello. I want to have 
Look at this, you get another little sticker. Put it with the other one. Maybe we can give one to Teddy. You try one first? You pick one? Andrew? Teddy, eat it. Um, this is basically chocolate covered cereal. It tastes like a corn pop in North America. Yeah. Chocolate covered corn pop, basically. Want another one? Yeah. Wow. Hello? Okay, now I was looking, I was mentioning strange Japanese stock, snacks, and this looks like it may be it. Uh, this is a, a Yaokin rice cracker. The rice cracker has very important place in Japan, uh, Japan's history. You see this style of cracker uh, often available in the food stalls of various Japanese festivals. Teddy. Okay, so it's a rice cracker. Pretty simple rice cracker. Okay, I don't want to break it, so. Okay, I'm gonna get one out for each of us, and then it looks like there might be some chocolate to put on it. Chocolate? Okay. Yeah, chocolate. Well, this is something. I eat it. Might not be chocolate. Maybe squeezy? Let's see. Oh, it's some sort of sweet stuff. Sweet stuff? Yep. Okay, Taito. Like you hold it careful and take a bite. I don't think it's sweet. Teddy, you're gonna spill that. Turn it sideways. I'm on it. Here. Let's see. This might be interesting. Bite the sauce. Oh wow. I hate this. Hey, don't spill it. I don't know what that sauce is. Hmm. Kind of like a soy sauce with like some kind of like mesquite kind of barbecue taste to it. And a little bit sweet. That's actually really good. So you can see when I put the sauce on top there, I just kind of put some drops on. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but. Actually really good. You like that? Wow. That's the kind of stuff I love to try. Just stuff that would be considered pretty strange here. Okay, so there's two kits in this box. Um, for time's sake, I'm not gonna actually show us putting these together. Um, this one's like a cookie kit. Uh, basically, you squirt these stuff in the mold and involves boiling water and stuff. Very cool stuff and pretty fun to do with the kids. And this looks like a candy ramen set. So, really excited to try these. I'll probably post some pictures of these on their, on our social media. Okay, we got a couple of these. Looks like they sent us one for each of us. That's cool. We want to race to Mario School. What was that one? Uh, okay, just a minute. Let me see if I can see what it is. Okay. Uh, um, umai Bao 3 set. <laughs> umai Bao means delicious stick. A uh, cylindrical corn snack from Japan. Salty, crispy texture. Sounds amazing. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's wait and try it all at the same time, Andrew. That's mine. There, don't eat it yet. We're gonna try it all at the same time. Oh, look at this one's different. This is mine. You want that one? Look at there's a hole in it. Don't eat it yet. You wait for daddy. Oh, look at that. Look at daddy's. It's looking like. Hey, Ted. Okay, Andrew. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I think I got the fish flavored one. I got the ice cream one. It tastes like how fish food smells. Can I try a bite of yours? I got fish one. Oh, that one. oh wow. Andrew's is like a a buttery tasting. <laughs> Here Teddy, try a bite of mine. I 
try it for you. In yours. I want to try Tidies is like uh, seasoned, but kind of yeah, sweet. Want to try by the Tidies? Mm. I want to try by yours. Okay. Here you go, Ted. Mm. I love these. I keep saying it, but these are my favorite things. Spicy. What do you guys think? Which one do you like the best? <laughs> you like yours the best or mine or Teddy's? Uh, yours. I like yours the best. Teddy, which one do you like the best? Uh, mine. Yeah, Teddy's is pretty good too. Okay, we got a cho looks like a chocolate bar here. 12 grains luck. Harvest la mode fruitful. That, that's some English a little bit there, but. Um, okay, another cool kind of package here. What's this do? Yeah, I'm wrecking it. I think it's chocolate. So it looks like um, looks like there might be kind of several types of chocolate in here. I'm guessing maybe. I like it, Daddy. I like it. I like, you like it, Daddy. it. Yes, I. Oh, oh. Okay. This one got a little bit messed up in packet in uh, transport here. Give one to Teto. Thank you. You're welcome. One to Andrew. You quick. Um, so it's like chocolate with uh, fruit filled on the inside. Fruit flavored chocolate. You can see the bar kind of got messed up on the side there. Good stuff, definitely not my favorite. Kayuya, Kayuya cherry rice cake. 70 year long tradition of the cherry rice cake. Teddy, stop please. Um, it's both starchy and sweet. Okay, so it's a rice cake. I have a feeling you're supposed to add liquid to these. And it probably expands. But we're not going to do that. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I want one. 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 Okay, Open your mouth. It's a gummy uh, cherry flavored rice cake. Very good. You can see they're all kind of in a tray here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is this month's Tokyo Treat Box. As always, you'll find a link in the description below. Highly recommend if you're going to get one of these treats box. Tokyo Treat is absolutely fantastic. Uh, super high quality stuff here. Uh, you really get your money's worth out of this box. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. You guys want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Bye. And until uh, the next episode.